um, is another musical theater piece that um, my husband actually played in a benefit in New York. It's from a show called Ordinary Days, and um, here it is. Places in front of Gristini's some freakishly cold winter's day. I had on several unflattering layers of wool. He slipped on the ice with his grocery bags full. So I rescued some fruit loops he dropped by the curb. And he made some remark, but my smile was superb. I thought that was sweet, and I started to go. When he said, hey, what you doing tomorrow? of Bleecker and Mercer tomorrow at 7. If you want to meet up, I'll be waiting right here. And in case there are two fellas waiting for you, my name's John. He waved and then he was gone. Needless to say, I went back there to meet him, mostly to see if he'd show. And there he was out in the cold with his jacket pulled tight. He took me to dinner and kissed me goodnight. And the next week we went to this terrible play. And the week after that to drink hot chocolate all day. And suddenly eight or nine months had flown by when he said, hey, what you're doing the rest of your life? Because I'll be here, right beside you as long as you want me to be. There's no question, there is nothing I've wanted so much in my life. It might sound immature, but I'm totally sure you're the one. And we had just begun. We got hitched in September, our favorite month, with a rock band that played in this and we bought an apartment on West 17th Street and talked about children and getting a dog. Our first anniversary came in a flash and we promised to take the day off. He had to step into his office that morning and so I went walking uptown to this bakery I know when I heard on the street what I thought was a joke till I noticed the sirens and saw all the smoke. So I'm running back home with this feeling of dread to the voicemail he left with the last words he said. I'm sorry, I don't mean to ruin your evening by bringing up all of this stuff. You're probably wondering why I even called you tonight. Well, today, something happened that spoke to me all right. I saw this storm cloud of papers fall down from the sky, and I thought of that day, and I started to cry. When as sure as I breathe, I heard John clear as day, saying, hey, you're allowed to move on. It's okay. to get rid of my favorite sweater. Even if you go out on my birthday this year, instead of sitting at home, letting all of life's moments pass by, you don't have to cry. I'll be here when you start going back to the places we went to together. When you take off my ring and you let yourself smile when you meet someone handsome and patient and true. And he says that he wants to be married to you. When you call him one night and he meets you downtown and you finally answer him yes. Yes. Jason, I will marry you. I will give you my heart. It has taken so long. I'm ready to start right now.
night now, John's whispering congrats in my ear, because I finally 